Welcome to the slow stretch hip flexors and hamstrings routine. When you're ready, meet me in extended child's pose. And as you breathe in and out through your nose, relax your legs and hips. Take your time as you slowly rise and make your way to downward facing dog. With a generous bend in your knees, begin to straighten out one leg and then the other, finding a pace, even a movement that serves you best today. From here, separate your feet mat distance for a wide leg variation of down dog. And with a little bend in both knees, reach your hips high and back, press your chest towards your thighs, take a big breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Then walk your hands towards the back of your mat, settling into a deep, wide leg forward fold. Even here in this forward fold, there's no need to lock out your knees. That gentle bend in your knees will give you more control over your legs, your hamstrings, your lower back. Let your head hang heavy and feel your breath as it travels up and down your spine. Come back to stillness and plant your right hand on your mat directly underneath your chin. So your hand and your feet would make a triangle. Then reach your left arm up to the ceiling, opening up into a twist. You're welcome to prop up on fingertips or even separate your feet wider to make this more comfortable for you. Breathe into any sensation that you feel. Then slowly switch sides. Lower your left hand to replace your right and reach your right arm high. Stack your right shoulder on top of your left. Lengthen through the crown of your head and breathe. and lower your right hand back down. And with a generous bend in both knees, fold even deeper. Add a chest expansion by interlacing your hands behind your lower back. Press your knuckles up towards the ceiling or let gravity take hold as your arms fall forward. Remember to soften your eyebrows, your eyelids, your jaw even in the postures that feel very intense. Take one more big breath in and big breath out. Gently release your chest expansion and walk your hands forward, coming back to downward facing dog. From here, step your right foot towards the top of your mat. If you need to, grab your ankle with your hand to pull your foot up so that your knee is stacked above your ankle. Then lower your back knee down to the mat. And with your hands on both sides of your front foot, just sink into your hips. No need to push or force anything here. This is enough of an opening to relax into and breathe. So with your shoulders soft, 
your whole face relaxed. Breathe so deep you can connect this breath to the sensation you're feeling in your left hip flexor. And if the idea of breathing into a muscle seems kind of off for you, you're not sure what that means, just know that our bodies have this layer of fascia. It's like a webbing that connects everything from your head to your toes. So even when you're breathing deeply into your torso, inflating and deflating through your belly, that is affecting whatever area of your body you're creating a big stretch into. That breath is pulling the webbing, the fascia, so that you are essentially using your breath to massage the area of your body that's opening and stretching. So just breathe deep. You're welcome to stay here. Or to add a variation, we've done this before called the booty drop. Walk both hands inside of your front ankle, toe heeling your right foot to the side of your mat. Then lower your left hip down towards the mat as you pivot onto your left foot. With your right knee still pointing up, you should feel a lot of sensation in your right glute and hip even along your left side body. Give yourself at least a few deep breaths to just relax into place instead of chasing the stretch. All you need to do is breathe. Now to make your way to a runner's lunge, shift your hips back to center with your left toes down behind you, both hands planted inside of your right foot, sink into your hips, and this time let your head hang heavy. And you're welcome to lower your back knee down so you can completely give in to gravity. Relax anything you don't need, whether physical, mental, or emotional. And with your right foot up near the right corner of your mat, begin to shift your hips back as your right leg straightens out. As you do so, keep your right toes pointed like you are trying to touch the pad of your right toe down onto the mat. You should feel a lot of sensation along the front of your right ankle, right foot, and along your right hamstring. Big inhale, big exhale. Then slowly shift your hips back. Take a seat on your back heel. And with your hands anywhere to support you, first focus on hinging from your hips. Breathe length into your spine. Over time, begin to lean forward over your right leg. 
no matter how deep you go. Inhale, so your chest pulls towards your toes. Exhale, so you can fold even deeper. Inhales lengthen. Exhales deepen. For just a few more deep breaths, see if you can go any deeper. One more big breath in and big breath out. Take your time as you walk your hands forward and make your way back into downward facing dog. Notice any difference in sensation between your right and left side. And when you're ready, step your left foot forward. Stack knee on top of ankle. Then lower your back knee down to your mat. Sink into your hips. And find your deep breath. In and out through your nose. So deep that your belly inflates and deflates releasing tension from your right hip flexor with each exhale. And we're here for one more minute. See if you can relax anything else. Now for the booty drop, toe heel your left foot open towards the left side of your mat and shift your hips. Your right hip lowers down to the mat, pivoting onto the knife edge of your right foot. Find a similar variation that you took on the other side, something that you can breathe and still relax into, even though it might be very intense. Keep your face calm, your breath deep and just enjoy the sensation and any connection with your breath. Just a few more deep breaths. Then 
and slowly shift your hips back to center, making your way to your runner's lunge. So with both hands inside of your left foot, lower your back knee down to your mat, sink into your hips, and this time relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Breathe. Big inhale through your nose. Big exhale through your nose. Slowly rise. Shift your hips back as you straighten out your left leg, but keep your left toes pointing, lengthening out the top side of your left foot. Maintain length through your chest and shoulders so you can hinge from your hips and breathe into whatever you feel here. Then slowly sit back on your right heel. With your left leg straight out in front of you, do your best to hinge from your hips, lengthen through your spine. Then slowly fold your body over your left leg and trust that over time and with a deep breath, your left hamstring will melt and you will fold even deeper. All you need to do is relax. Let go of everything you don't need. And observe how your breath feels within your body. Big inhale through your nose. Big exhale through your nose. Slowly rise, making your way back to your downward facing dog. Move as slow as you'd like to go. And that's it for our slow stretch hip flexors and hamstrings routine. Take a few deep breaths in child's pose to reset. 